A rose or Rodenia curve is a sinusoid function graphed in polar coordinates. So to set this up on a graphing calculator, we can use the sine or cosine, cosine function, excuse me, and enter it in terms of k times theta. And you might notice when k is odd, there are that many petals in your rose or flower. So if I chose the cosine of 3 times theta, well, then I would have three petals in my rows. But if I choose an even number, there will be twice as many petals as, as the number you're given. So, I mean, if you're inputting two for k, then there'll be twice as many as that. There'll be four or two k um, petals on your flower. So if k is odd, there are k petals. If k is even, there are two k or twice k petals. Now, I said it really fast, but one of the key things aspects of this is that we're in polar coordinates. So to start this process, that's the first thing I set up. I click the mode button right here. And you want to make sure as you scroll down that you're in radians, right? And then you are in polar coordinates right here. If you're not, scroll over and press enter. And once that's set up, I would click my y equals editor. And here you can enter in as many of these functions as you want. It'll add layers to your rows or flower. I'll start with something simple. Let's say I enter in the cosine, press cosine of 3 theta. So press 3, and then just like when I'm entering in x, I'm now entering in theta because we're dealing with polar coordinates. I click this button right here, and I'm done. If I graph, press the graph button, you see the flower right there. If I go back to the y equals editor, I could experiment with other functions. If I enter in, let's say, the cosine of, let's say, 7 theta. I stick with the odd value of k there, press enter, and graph it. You can see how these two flowers interact. And if you're having trouble, the best way to zoom to see this, I think, is the Z box or the zoom box reference. And that, that of course, means you're just setting up a box to zoom around so you can get the best view of, right, of your rows. So you pick a lower left point, and then you just scroll over until you basically have a zoom window that fits snugly around the image you're looking at. And this usually gives the best results. And that, if you want to make a really cool looking rose or explore at this, this is probably your best option. Now, just to go back, I think it's important to understand what happens when k is right even. And you, you can quickly explore this with the graphing calculator. If you hit let's say cosine of 2 theta, right, you'll see by pressing enter and graphing, although you don't need to even press enter, that you have 4 or 2k petals. Now what's also fun is in the y equals editor, if you scroll to the left, you can change, right, the type of plot that's given. So here the, the standard type is what you're seeing, but right here below you can see that I selected a bolder font. You can also do uh, right, a dot pattern to really make these um, look nice for presentations. But I encourage you to try this and have fun. There are lots of cool ways to plot these roses. Thanks.